J.M. Wagner had a great follow-up to another question. He says, can you talk about the possibility of your first book, Have a Nice Day, becoming a movie back in the day? I heard you once tried to write the screenplay for it. Who would you have wanted to play you in the movie? Man, I did write a screenplay. I still have it out there, you know, handwritten. Um, I remember Barry giving it to someone. He said there wasn't a story arc on it. Uh, I was trying to get WWE. I think there, there is. I think there is too, because what was nice about Have a Nice Day is that it ends right out, you know, with me winning the title. Yes. Which is, uh, you know, I think part of the reason that some of the uh, books by the like career defining wrestlers don't work as well as they're trying to tell a 40 year story in 60,000 words. That's yes. the traditional model they want. And when mine came in at 180, I say 200,000, it was 180,000. Uh, they were contemplating lopping off, like just cutting it in half. And WWE lobbied and said that the, uh, you know, the random uh, sidebars were part of the charm of it. And we got yes. to keep it as it was. Um, so I thought the story did have an arc to it. I mean, I thought, you know, it was be going to begin with the loss of the year in Munich, Germany, and like a Scorsese-like uh, telling yes. uh, with the woman in Germany, the Krankenschwester or nurse, telling me, uh, showing me the year, me attempting to keep the year, struggling in vain for the German word for formaldehyde. Can you imagine what that thing would get on eBay now? Dude, it'd, it'd be, be crazy, huge. right? And then she th threw it in the garbage can, and in my version, it would be like, you could actually see it, like, whoosh, 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 and hear it going through the air, whoosh, 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 and depositing in the bottom of a medical garbage can. Uh, I never went any further than that. Uh, I don't know. I had a, I, I, I know we were thinking of uh, Patricia Arquette to play the role of Colette. Oh, wow. And I don't know if I ever had any actor in mind for me. Uh, there was another project that almost came to fruition. Who, who like, would you pick, though? Think. Let's think about that. Let's do that exercise. Jonah Hill? He'd be great, wouldn't he? Jonah Hill as Mick Foley? Come on. The, the kid with the afro? Yeah. Like, not the thin Jonah Hill. Well, his weight fluctuates. Fluctuates, so I don't know if you, you yeah. can identify with that. I but. see, yeah. But I know I would not think Jonah Hill. He's, he's a great actor. He, yeah, I just don't see him portraying the hardcore. And he's not a wrestling fan. He, there was a reason why Jonah Hill was advertised as the guest GM. Remember when they had the guest? And never aired. Oh, I didn't know that. The guys hated working with him. Yeah. Uh, there were some that they, like, uh, uh, Hugh Jackman, Dynamite. Fantastic. Muppets. They loved almost everybody. It was a good experience. Jonah Hill was one. He didn't even make the air. Wow. Because he was, he apparently just didn't want to be there and it showed. I think somebody saw him mouthing to his agent, get me out. So, no, I wouldn't. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I know. Uh, um, John Goodman? <laughs> you're going with the beefy guys, huh? No, these are great actors. They are great actors. Uh, 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 Joaquin oh. Phoenix at one point for the second project. Um, there were a couple other actors, but it never got to that point. Never got to that point. Maybe Ryan Reynolds. Perfect. Yeah. Or Gosling. One we, of the Ryans. We got there. Yeah. We got there. We figured it out.